They call it the MSI GT77 Titan, and in this video, we're gonna look at the latest Intel 13th Gen i9 CPU and RTX 4090 from NVIDIA. This video is mainly about the performance of this laptop. Nothing has changed from 2022 into 2023. If you wanna know about the build quality, usability, maybe the speakers, the webcam, etc., I'll link up that video later in the video. But for now, let's jump straight into the benchmarks. Now, this laptop comes with the latest Intel i9 13950HX. Now, MSI told me that this model is not actually going to be available on the market. They're instead gonna have the 13980HX available for purchase. So just keep that in mind. That's a slight disclaimer here on the benchmark results that you're going to see. Now we also have the RTX 4090 with 16 gigs of VRAM and 64 gigs of RAM in the system installed. And that's actually four sticks of 16 gigs of RAM, which means you can actually get this system upwards of 128 gigs of RAM with the four available RAM slots in this laptop. This also has four terabytes and three available M.2 slots. So this is quite literally a desktop replacement. Now it does weigh quite a bit at about 7.27 pounds, but neither here nor there, that's much lighter than my desktop and much more on the go friendly than picking up my entire PC build. If you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of the GT77, I'll put links in the description below. Now, if you do make a purchase, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Now, looking at the scores for Geekbench single core and multi-core, you can see that this thing does get great results. Now, this does have the latest 13th gen components and the MSI has a really nice big body, a lot of fans, a lot of good cooling power. However, the MSI control center is not my favorite. I found that I'm not able to manipulate it in a way that I want to in order to get the max performance out of the CPU. So I'm not necessarily looking at this as a tell all for 13th gen performance and RTX 40 series performance. We'll see as we get more laptops in the studio, what the overall results are for 13th gen and Nvidia 40 series. Now, as we look at Cinebench R23, we see good results there as well. Definitely in multi-core is where I'm seeing the biggest bump in performance over the 12th gen stuff in the past. Now, one area that really killed it, and I expected this because Blender is very graphics focused, we saw a 1,659 inside of Blender with latest RTX 4090 GPU, definitely showing off, definitely flexing its muscles. Now, if you're in 3D modeling, you're definitely gonna benefit from 40 series, especially in Autodesk Maya. It saw the biggest bumper performance at 502 with the closest laptop behind it was the RTX 3070 Ti that I've benchmarked here in the studio at about a 356. So definitely a huge bump in performance and definitely over last year's GT77. Now Autodesk 3DS Max was good as well at 266 and PTC Creo saw a great uptick as well at 398. Now SolidWorks actually saw a big tick in performance, but not as much as I would hope. And the only reason I'm like expecting that is because SolidWorks as always likes workstation GPUs or even Radeon GPUs. So those are the GPUs that I found from a cost standpoint, Radeon, from a full-on performance standpoint, NVIDIA workstation GPU. So just keep that in mind, but seeing great results here for 3D modeling. Now, Photoshop was one area that I expected to see more performance in, but we ended up at a 1385. And for 64 gigs of RAM, 13th gen and RTX 4090, this really surprised me because last year's GT77 was not far behind that number. In fact, it might've been closer than I even expect. Now, After Effects did see a nice little bump in performance at an 1165. Five, that was good. We got great amount of RAM, great graphics processing. So you gonna be really good in After Effects. Now, one area that I saw improvement on for sure was 6K video editing. So the export times are the best I've seen on my channel for 6K video editing at 12 minutes and 18 seconds for B-RAW and 12 minutes and 21 seconds for red footage. Now, an area that I thought we'd see an even faster export time, though it did beat out the fastest laptop I've seen on my channel so far by a whole 30 seconds. 30 seconds actually is quite a bit if you extrapolate that over the long run of you know your workflow. Um, but I really thought it might be a little faster than that, being that this is the top tier GPU with a top tier CPU and top amount of RAM. Well, not top amount of RAM, but a very high amount of RAM compared to most laptops, which I review with usually 16 and at max 32 gigs of RAM. 
but it is an improvement definitely for 6K video editing. Now, the reason being is we see zero drop frames in 6K red footage. That is a first on my channel for a laptop. So RTX 40 series and Intel 13th gen are definitely working together to give us zero drop frames for red footage, zero for B-RAW, and of course, zero for 4K. So this is a great video editing laptop if you are using high resolution footage. You're definitely getting a big benefit of this. However, if you're in 4K or even 6K B-RAW, you would be fine buying a slightly lower tier 40 series laptop or Intel 13th gen laptop. I don't think you need to get the top of the line, especially for 4K and 6K B-RAW video editing. Punch for punch, the people who are gonna see the most benefit from this laptop is 3D modelers, architects, Blender users, and 6K red footage, and even 6K B-RAW if you have very complex 6K B-RAW projects. Those are the people who are gonna see a huge benefit by going with the latest 13th gen top of the line in the latest RTX 40 series top of the line. Comment below, let me know how you would consider using this computer and if you're considering making a purchase. I'll put links in the description below. Otherwise, I'll see you here in the next video.